today's master class, we're talking about the art of custom coach building. You know, it's an art form that is dying when it comes to restoration, but at City Classic Cars, we still revive that art form. Well, we take the coach of the automobile and oftentimes, more times than not, instead of using metal, we use the old fashioned wood. And we use wood craftsmanship to shape, design, and make the automotive coaches what they once were. Today we're gonna look up and close at a 1951 Henny Hearst Packard. You're gonna get to see all of the details and all the intricacies that were involved in this coach building process. Seals on the 1951 Henny Hearst. Listen, restoration has been around a long time. Hot rodding and customization, it's been around a long time. Really, when you start talking about coach, master coach building, which is really what this is about. This is an old school technique, an old school approach, an old school craftsmanship that is an old to great coach builders everywhere. Now, it's a dying art. I must admit that. But at City Classic Cars, it is something we do every single day. Now, you go back to 1450, it was called the Car of Cox or the Car of Colts. And what happened was in Hungary, they came up with a coach for the king. It was a horse drying coach that had a steel suspension. Isn't that something? Way back in 1450, I should have hired a couple of those guys. But I mean, what an amazing thing. And so it's been like that way for a long time. And so when you look at the history of the automobile, what you find is many of the early manufacturers, they really just made chassis. They made the chassis, and then they had coach builders that made the coach. If, you, if you're into vintage and antique Ferraris, well, they, Ferrari used three different coach builders around the world. So they had three different coach builders, but Ferrari did the chassis. And, and, and what about Rolls Royce? There's the coach aspect of it, and there's the chassis aspect of it. The same thing we do now when we're building cars. We have to build the actual coach of the car, which is the body that carries its passengers. And then there's the chassis that moves the actual automobile forward. Well, here is an old in this car, and I really like it. It's a true restoration in every sense of the word. Okay, so we're deep into master class today. We're talking about the 51 Hertz. We're just gonna kind of go a little bit and show you some of the detail and intricacies that are involved. So I find a lot of modern builders, uh, there is all about fabrication and fabrication from the sense of metal fabrication. And I do provide metal fabrication. I believe metal fabrication is essential to building custom builds and things of that nature. But when you start talking about factory correct restorations, it's very important to have the ability to shape wood, customize wood, manufacture the, the designs in a way that it makes the cars come to life. I guess I could have made this out of metal, but it's a little bit better that it's made out of wood and you get to stain it and shape it and mold it. I mean, that's the beauty of custom coach building. So when you are thinking about, do I go factory correct or do I go custom build? I want you to think about the coach itself. I want you to think about the cabin, the, the structure. Now we do understand that metal and the strength of metal and, and the way metal is shaping nowadays it is, it is far more durable and stronger, and it's a safer application. But I think when you're talking about one-off racers and one-off cars, you want to you wanna be true to the history, number one. And number two, when you start talking about a car like this hearse, it's important to be able to shape the wood into the framework of the vehicle. But let's continue to look at master class. 1951 Packard hers. Now there are two types of pure restoration. One is the spirit of the law and one is the letter of the law. In this car, we do a spirit of the law restoration and not a letter of the law re restoration. Now one of the benefits of doing a spirit of the law versus a letter of the law when it comes to restoration, it really comes back down to intended purpose and sometimes safety. 
We don't really have safety issues in this car because we're going to put the mechanical back like it was so it has that historical feel to it. I mean, the CB radio is going to work and all that good stuff and the fan that blows on the body and the, and, and the, the person who's sick back here, all that's going to be used as well. But we wanted to make some changes to rise the level of this car. And some of those things you see, this is an actual hardwood floor. The car did not have hardwood floors. The, in 1951, they didn't have hardwood floors. This wasn't a Rolls Royce now. This, this was a Henny Hearst. And so we, the, what, what they had was a, a film, they had a film that covered the uh, plywood. And so what we decided to do was to change that instead of recreating some film that goes over the plywood, let's not do that. Let's do real wood, so this is real oak. Let's do real wood and let's stain it in a, in a uh, red oak finish. And so that's what we did. And then so on the door panels, you'll see a little bit later what we did on the door panels. We also incorporate a wood finish to that as well. So this is true coach building. It's a dying art, but at City Classic Cars, we're building coaches every week. Some people just see wood, but you've learned in this class, this could be a custom floor, custom door panel, a custom coach restored to a factory correct sensibility with some custom touches. I hope you've enjoyed this class. Until next time, hey, don't destroy them, restore them.